It's a revolution. You won't see it on the news. It's quiet, it's happening in the suburbs, but it's still a significant social upheaval. Now, more women are out working and more are in high-powered, highly paid jobs. So, more and more men find they have to adapt too. To give up all they've been brought up to believe in. To forget ambition, career and their traditional role as breadwinner. Dads have been left holding the baby, literally. He's the new male, the man many women want. But how does this new domestic creature cope when the wife holds the purse strings and he's the one in the apron? When I was growing up, this was mum's work. The cleaning, the cooking, running the house, caring for the kids. What's going on? But now, there's a changing of the guard taking place in the Australian home. I was joking that this particular story was the dickless dad's story, that this is the story about dads not having their, um, you know, not being fully intact because they were looking after the kid at home. Yeah. In the world of parents, they're the men about the house. Blokes who've changed places with their wives. Men like Stuart. He's a freelance journalist. Yeah. Well, I'm glad we got to use that photo. That she the runs Woman's Day. Nice, clean. Lee's a house husband, looking around. after home. Hi guys. For his corporate wife. Right, we ready? And the captain and the lieutenant. That one. He raises the family. Range to Tarakan. And she runs the ship. I think we've actually grown as a couple. Oh, yeah. As a result. And you will. <laughs> <laughs> yes, dear. <laughs> I mean, boss. I mean, dear. <laughs> There's that boss. <laughs> Are you happy, Stuart, that your wife professionally yeah. is more senior than you? Doesn't, yeah, it doesn't worry me. Right, 30 yards. Board stop, starboard, slow ahead, boss. Maybe you're commencing her approach, boss. Call it 200 yards. They call her boss. You call it 200 yards. Lieutenant Commander Donna Muller. Half ahead, port, slow astern, starboard. Two years ago, she was offered a promotion, the command of her own ship. That's what I've been trained to do and it's really good fun. It's really uh, exciting to be able to throw what I can of this vessel around and, and get a lot of enjoyment out of doing so. But there was a catch. She could only do it if her husband put his own naval career on hold. OK, let's go. <laughs> so Lieutenant Stuart Muller traded places with his wife. Eat your breakfast, please. Come on. He took a desk job in Canberra and took on the responsibility of being both mother and father to their daughter while mum was at sea. <laughs> For both Stuart and Donna, it's been an enormous learning curve. He now appreciates that there are some hardships associated with working full time and coming home and starting your second job. But at the same time, I also appreciate the hardships that he's gone through in dealing with that separation from your family as well. Throw them all over the top. A few more. Oh, I say I'm a Mr Mum and very proud of it too. Thumbprint cookies. Mr yep. Mum, house husband, super dad, comfortable with all Mr. of that? Mr Mechanic, yep. A Do all that. Man. A kept man, <laughs> yes, that's a good one. I yeah. like that. <laughs> Lee Audette was once big in IT, but it's been many years and three kids since he threw it in for this. About something like that. That's a bit short, isn't it, though, Remy? I don't know. So what about something like that there? Lee's been a full-time house husband for a decade. Do you like the blue one? Yep. A decision that came down to cold, hard economics. Thank you. Thank you very much. I basically earned more money than Lee did at the time, and Lee wasn't enjoying the job that he had, so it just made sense. I know we've agreed the funding... Have In this family, it, the traditional roles have been turned we'll upside down. ...and we'll run through the prelim uh, preliminary numbers. Wife Anne is successful and well paid. She's the chief financial officer for the Jim Beam um, beverage James. company. Come on, Jim. So when help? it comes to running the family, it makes perfect sense. Lee looks after the kids and Anne looks after the money, including dishing out his housekeeping. Okay, good. Well, I get my budget each month and yeah. in that I have to do all the shopping and pay my some of my bills and... What, you get an allowance? 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. no, I give him a great big chunk, and as long as he doesn't ask me for any more, that's fine. He can do what he likes with it as long as there's food on the table. Is there a little bit of pocket money for him if he needs a new tyre for his motorbike? Oh, uh, that comes from... <laughs> la, 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 la. That comes from investments <laughs> and my own investments that I have, and... Uh, occasionally, a little bit will come out for a, you know, a, a small part. As long as he's not asking me to pay for those things, I don't care. In this family, it's plain to see who wears the pants. Who is the boss? Um, boss the house would be me. Boss. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> no, I mean, as in think... the running of the house. The boss of the running of the house and how the kids react and... Who's that? That's tickles. Uh, get clothed. Uh, what about this, Remy? And their general activities. And then we just mix that up. And shopping and... Here we go, we need some nappies, don't we, Mitch? And, and Jenny? All the other stuff that a family does while the partner is off working, I would definitely be with the boss. And... While I'm not around. <laughs> <laughs> Since the beginning of time, men have been the hunters and women the nurturers, keeping the home and raising the kids. I'm sorry, but for thousands of years that did form the basis of much of our society. So what happens when you turn that whole concept inside out? And for the men in particular, sensitive souls that we are, what happens to our sense of masculinity when we're no longer the breadwinner? I'm not hooked up on the idea that, oh my God, my place in the home is no longer the place it was because she earns more money than me. Um, I'm quite happy to live off her. Hello. Hello. Nine months ago, Stuart Hello. Washington gave up his job as Ruby. a freelance journalist Hello. to look after Hello. baby Ruby. I'm making your dinner. Yes, I am. Are you a house husband? Uh, a house husband fits, the, fits, fits the, the bill pretty well. Are you comfortable telling someone if they say to you, what do you do? That's, that's something I have had difficulties with. With a chop chop here and a chop chop there. You suddenly feel like, well, you, you have come from a, a, a very, you've come from a career, you've felt a lot of um, enjoyment in that career. And then to suddenly turn around and say, what I do is I mind the bub. Um, society doesn't rate that as well. Uh, society just looks women at Women get excited about it, though. Well, yeah, but, you know... They, I could... Like, lots of women will say, oh, yeah, you've got to get him to talk to my husband. I'd mm. love that to be the way it works for us, so... But it doesn't, it doesn't kind of rate very well down at the pub. No. Let's start with party people. Um, Alana House is Stuart's partner. Uh, Patty got in early this morning and very cleverly bought up all of these non-exclusive shots cheaply. She's the editor so of Woman's Day. Not, uh, it's a high-pressure, high-profile job. And then we'll make our decision whether we go three spreads. And like many problem. modern executives, she often yeah. brings her work yeah. home. Yeah. All that kind of stuff. Yeah. Wasn't. That'll yeah. be your phone. With the most annoying ring in the world. Hello. Stuart has at times been resentful of those um, calls so intruding on, on our time together and, for example, if he's spent... Cooked a very nice meal. <laughs> <laughs> I've cooked a nice meal. And she takes sitting... a work phone call. <laughs> I mean, what am I supposed to do? Yeah, so... Her and her sister Alana went to a... I know we've agreed and, funding. and Donna are now in the majority. For the first time ever, over half the women in Australia are in the workforce. More and more are out pursuing careers, and that means more and more of their partners are staying at home to bring up baby. I'm sure there are people out there that disagree with what that we're doing, and they're probably people that we know, but I think they know enough now to know that it works. it's none of their business, really. You know, and, and if it it's works. working for us, why question it? We're not going to change just because they think it's wrong. Mm. Oh, all right, well I hope it's not too late at night. As in all relationships, the know. challenge for our couples and is yeah, to maintain I'm, I'm, an equal said, partnership. I'll, I'll the Yet morning. the politics of gender is a all delicate right, flower, particularly soon, when the male ego comes into play. I write an editor's column each week in my magazine and one week I wrote one uh, in which I called him hubby and said how, how great it was that I went home to a cooked meal and a washed clean fed baby and uh, his comment was uh, why don't you just uh, hang my balls on the letterbox so everybody knows I don't have any so and he was probably only half joking <laughs> yeah no no I, I don't think I was joking at all <laughs>
Yeah, no, this is much better. <laughs> I'm slightly worried about the tear out. <laughs> Did we blow it up much? Okay, that's pretty good. Cheers. Okay. Your father doesn't cook a bad meal every now and then. One of the big issues for a man is his self-esteem. Have you had any moments where you've questioned that? There was one moment where I went to a business conference with Alana and I was the person trailing around with the baby while Alana referred to me. And, and that was where I realised I'm, I'm the wife in this situation. And, and that didn't was, enjoy it that much at I all. I didn't enjoy it at no. all. It was, that was really confronting. What, you felt like you were the handbag? I, I did feel like I was the handbag. I have friends who say, well, he should be out there work, working. And I say, well, no, he shouldn't. <laughs> you know, I get quite annoyed when they say, you know, he should be out there working and he should, you know, get a job. He needs to have a job. He's a man. And I think, oh, no, he doesn't. Oi. <laughs> Oi. Oi. For all the challenges that come with being a mum when you're a bloke, there's a significant upside. Surely no man goes to his grave wishing he'd worked longer hours or spent less time with his children. And for our women, for all the career benefits they get, there's also a cost. Lieutenant Commander Donna Muller can spend up to four months on duty and away from home. She's the only mother commanding a ship in the Australian Navy. Professionally, it's smooth sailing. But like so many men before her, Donna's discovering the sacrifice that comes when you put career first. I've missed some of Laura's key important times and I accept that there have been times where she's probably wanted her mum. What's to say that it has had a bad impact on Laura? I mean, she doesn't show it now, but you don't know. <laughs> I'd like to think that she'll be able to look back and say, well, mum wanted this and mum had pursued this. Can I have a kiss? and look at what she achieved, look at what I could do if I really put my mind to it. And I think she'll be that sort of child that will go for what she really wants. What confirms that you've made the right decision, Stuart? So we have a daughter who loves life. She's happy, she's vibrant. And I wake up and, and see her every day. She, that's, that's the thing that does it for me. You do get emotional, don't you? Yeah. What, why is that? I don't know, I just, I care about it, so she's special to me. And I'm doing it again. <laughs>I'm Tara Brown. Thanks for watching 60 Minutes Australia. Subscribe to our channel now for brand new stories and exclusive clips every week. And don't miss out on our extra minutes segments and full episodes of 60 Minutes on 9now.com.au and the 9now app.